Cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? Wish popping. What is going on in the life of a Cancerian for mid month April? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Are you guys moving forward comfortably or uncomfortably, whether you like it or not, to obtain the blessings that Spirit is trying to bestow upon you? Can I get an amen? Let's get it. All right. Hey, boo, hey. It's your first time watching my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you guys, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you guys without cussing, okay? Because see me, I'm going to do that. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight and fuss. We a little dysfunctional, though. We cry. We may cry. We may, you know, we share, we grow, we love, we like poly vibes only. But we don't fight for us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Okay? To the returning subscribers, hey, y'all. I told y'all I wasn't going to make y'all wait that long because I know y'all was mad at me and whatnot uh, the first half of April. So we wasn't going to, I wasn't going to piss them water. Y'all were going to drown me out. Okay? Didn't need y'all coming eating inbox and me putting out my damn fire. All right? Because y'all make, y'all gets me all sensitive. All right? You guys, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribe. That means so much to me. Um, You guys, comment. At the end of the video, let me know how this resonates. If it doesn't, then please feel free to watch your sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus. It's not going to resonate with everybody, y'all. It's a general reading, okay? If you need a personal, that information is below. Y'all like my ghetto pop? <laughs> Got my Keisha ponytail. Ha <laughs> That Keisha. All right. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So, for mid-month April, the intuitive messages that I did receive for cancer was faded meetings. Finally closing out, fall in your lap, codependency, karma, life cycles, reunions, remembrance, compassion, discernment, strategic, travel, fertility, compromise, heightened awareness, contracts, trust yourself, dreams, mediumship, wealth, investors, root chakra, and health, okay? So if any of the intuitive messages did um, resonate with you all, please, um, you guys comment, let me know, all right? But take what does, leave the rest, all right? The angel message for you all for mid-month April comes from Archangel Sandoval. You guys got gift, gifts. From God, y'all, this Jupiter retrograde got me fucked up. I don't know it what what aspect of my chart it got me fucked up in. Whether it's the Aries, the Pisces, the Libra, or the Gemini, I'm not sure. Okay, I think my damn Jupiter is in Sagittarius. I'm not sure what area it got. But so y'all bear with me, cause my words is all over the damn place. All right, and it's not. I know it's not Cancer, because to be honest with you, it's been like that all damn day. I'm tired of it. I'm really, I really, really am. Shit. All right, so y'all bear with me. Luckily, we family. All right? Gifts from God. Archangel sound, uh, sound of fall. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive, okay? So again, the blessing that spirit is trying to bestow upon you. For some of you all, you feel stuck or trapped into, um, during this mid-month, you may be feeling stuck and trapped into situations that you're kind of feeling forced to give to based on uh, society standards or your perception around traditional beliefs as far as, you know, being with someone because you got kids with that person, even though y'all have a dysfunctional-ass relationship. And the kids see that and not understanding how that can affect you, how, how that can affect cycles going forward ancestry, okay? And so... For some of you all, you are kind of in your head just kind of thinking about that. You really ultimately are trying to manifest what it is that you desire. And Spirit wants you to know for some of you all, things are closing out in order for you to do that. So for some of you all, what you want is in the midst of your hands. However, I definitely feel like there's outside outside interception during it. Well, yeah, outside noise, outside interception, interference uh, from others as far as projections of projections around like opinions around um the things that pretty much the things that did the things that you the things that it is that you want to manifest do not allow others emotions or others feelings about the things that matter to you 
to affect how you look at what it is that you see the things that make you happy because for some of you all, I definitely feel like you're kind of being pushed into, you know, your life purpose. And I definitely feel for now it's uncomfortable, but spirit is wanting you to understand that there is a blessing in the lesson, baby, but you got to go through some shit in order to get to this prize. And so with the things that you have overcome, with the things that you have heard or with the things that you will continue to learn and gain wisdom about, understand that the people who are not on your level and who are not ready to ascend with you, baby, they're just going to kind of be falling off. You know, they're going to fall off your path and that's okay. It's not for you to beat yourself up to try to make yourself fit in everybody else's life if it just don't fit anymore. A blessing in the lesson. And the blessing is growth, ascension, abundance, prosperity, moving forward towards things that you actually want to do versus waking up and going to a nine to five like, fuck, ooh, that long clock go off, you'd be like, ooh, I hate this damn job. They ain't fired me yet. Why I got to be the damn employee of the month? Do I really got to give a damn about every damn thing and how everybody move with that job? This ain't even my damn company. I mean, it's, it's the whole, <laughs> you may be in this energy of really, really, really kind of reflecting you know over your life and how many times when you felt as if you were settling versus going after what it is that you desire cancer says no more i'm gonna have what it is that i want and spirit is saying you can have whatever you like it's just how you choose to see it and what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get there some of you all may be there is a focus here also y'all for some of you all there is you guys are going to be having a very, very, very heightened intuition as we're a sense of awareness during this time. But Spirit is saying, some of y'all, even though you have this all-knowing, you know, you have the direction how to go. You have the momentum to go. Some of y'all are sitting still because there's, there's this missing confidence, like an aspect of confidence that's missing. The Spirit is saying no more. You have to think, you guys, are, you guys during this time are going to have to uh, possibly... Um, Listen to positive affirmations that speak, you know, confidence into yourself. Because for some of you all, for someone or whomever this is that I'm seeing, some of you all are very, very, very talented. And you're beautiful inside and out, but maybe it's how you were raised or your past partners that has affected the way that you see yourself. You know, and so there is this sense of like um, stagnancy as far as progression with some of you all. And it definitely has to do with a sense of confidence or feeling as if, you know, you don't deserve better, but Spirit is saying you, you can have whatever it is that your heart desires, but you have to believe and know that first, okay? For some of you all, you're feeling stuck and trapped into some type of work environment, and for some of you all, you really have this desire. Um, so some of y'all are spiritual teachers. Some of you all, there's also, some of you guys are wanting to move into your life path as a healer. And some of you guys are, some of y'all also may be practicing healing, like some form of regeneration, um, healing, healing aspects or healing yourself and others with water. Some of you guys also, some of y'all got a massive ass download coming. For those of you who live near water or who meditate near water during this time. Some of you guys have some type of expansion coming or expansive esoteric information coming to the third eye, y'all. And so some of you guys, some of you all, for those of you who are having pains in the forehead, like migraines or like pressure headaches, Again, that goes with that, like, expansion in the third eye. For some of you all, your crown chakra is going to be activated. And for some of you all, you're really needing to take a spiritual bath and cleanse yourself, protect your aura, your psyche, and your energy during this time. Light your white candles for purity, protection, protect your psyche. Because some of y'all got a lot of energy vampires around y'all. Some of you guys feel trapped in, um, some of you guys feel trapped in some type of, like, family dynamic. 
or some way of being. But Spirit is saying you have the power to release yourself. But you first have to believe that and release yourself within the mental state. Because for some of y'all, some of y'all, this could also be some type of narcissistic, like, relationship with someone. Where you have, like, a telepathic connection with someone, but someone is using that for the negative. And for some of you all, you have this knowing, but, again, it's like a lack of confidence. Some of you are trying to find harmony in a situation, circumstance. Some of y'all are constantly given to situations that you feel like tear you down or prevent you from growing because there's this fear around being seen as disloyal or not being seen as a quitter, like perception or judgment of others. And there's this need of, so there, there's this revelation or for you to respect yourself and have and actually show yourself that love. For those of you who are waiting on love to appear, Spirit is first saying you have to be a sole example of that love and project that out for yourself because some of you guys, there's this need for you not to settle based on the battle between the mind and the heart. The mind says that, you know, I want to move forward, I want to progress. I want to expand. I want to enlighten myself. And the heart is like I'm lonely. But there's this needing to heal. There's this needing to speak your truth. There's this needing to be authentic and not be afraid of or, 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 or releasing this feeling of feeling as if you're going to lose something for standing up for yourself or for speaking the things that really matter to you. For some of you all, you are you are a healer, baby. And you know in which direction that you need to walk. Some of y'all are actually having like regression moments back into like from this life, from last life into this life. And you're unable to sleep between the hours of three and five I'm seeing during this time. It has to do with the crown chakra activation for some of you all. It has to do with um, some type of healing that is occurring with the throat chakra. For some of you all, you really need to get out in nature and, and, and sit your womb within the earth. Or sit your ass on the grass. Okay? And ground yourself. Because some of you all, your dreams may be all over the place as if you're hurting your family members and killing your children or uh, all your friends out to try and kill you. Got seven people riding on you, throwing your ass in the van. And ultimately, for some of you all, it's, it's the need of it's, it's the need. You need to trust your dreams, but for some of you all, there's a need of centering things first because you're holding on to residual energy from other people and those around you, trying to be there for everyone, but you have no healthy way of releasing that. There's a need, you guys, to truly, truly, truly. Pamper yourself. Some of y'all may even be changing the way that you eat. Some of y'all even may be a vegan by the end of the damn month, okay? Some of you guys could also be moving away from processed meats or foods. Some of you guys, some of y'all are also, um, some of y'all are doing research um, on earth angels. Some of y'all are going to be coming into who you are. For some of you all, for those of you who have been questioning if you should go into a path of being a healer, some of you guys want to be tarot card readers. Some of you guys also want to be um, Reiki specialists. I'm also seeing some shamans in the building, but there's this fear of, but I'm also seeing whomever this is attached to, you guys grew up in a home where you possibly grew up um, Muslim or Christian or tied to some type of religion. And there's this sense of spirit giving, letting you know that if you move towards your path as this damn counselor, as this spiritual teacher, as this healer, and allow your light to shine and share that all knowing with the with the individuals in the way you're a light worker, baby. 
But for some of you all, you having to conquer, you have to you having to find the the balance between the light and the darkness during this time. And I hate when people talk about this. Y'all know we didn't talk about this. I hate when people talk about the shadow the shadow self as if it's completely like as if you just completely wrong or you just an evil person. No. Because I myself like to believe that I'm not only a light worker, but I'm a master of both the light and the darkness. I have mastered both aspects of myself. So I know how to act accordingly. But because I've done that, it allows me to see through other people bullshit. And for some of you all, you've done it as well. It will be during this mid-month. But there's this sense of acknowledgement. Not the validation from other people. But of yourself. From yourself. For yourself. And rejoicing. Celebrating. And respecting. The self. And who you were being called to be. And that, honey, brings abundance. You didn't go through it for no reason. You went through that. To assist other people in understanding that. Sometimes you got to go through some shit to get what it is truly, truly that you desire. And for some of you all to truly get to know every aspect of yourself. Because even me, baby, I can't teach you shit I ain't never went through. I can't teach you shit I ain't never went through. Absolutely nothing. And y'all ain't never heard me talk about anything, anything, your own this motherfucker that I ain't never went through. Period. Right, so let's go. Let's talk about love. And let's just do that. my beautiful Kansas. This mid month April. No. What message do you have? My beautiful Kansas. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Cross Watchers. In love. And so some of you guys are, some of you guys during this time may be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like some of you guys may be having, um, some of y'all have an older gentleman and a younger gentleman who possibly may be at war behind you during this time. Some of you guys, some of y'all better make a decision. Some of you guys just have to do with making a decision to possibly, um, move forward with someone. I definitely feel a con, or how to have a conversation with someone regarding you transforming, Okay. Because in doing so, you going some of y'all need to make a decision or making a damn decision about releasing your damn burdens. Possibly having to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Y'all could be dealing with a fire sign that is indecisive during this time. And I definitely feel like there is a form of resistance. This could be the fire sign resistant change. Or you cancer resistant change. But I definitely feel like there's a sense of someone moving forward, okay? For some of you all. Some of y'all, y'all dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I definitely feel like some of you guys are really wanting to release the situation because this person, this person may have to choose between you and another person. For some of you all, this is someone that's older and someone that is younger. I definitely feel like if this has to do with uh, fire, air, and water, someone's going to be getting, there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's going to be getting cut off. For some of you all, some of y'all... Are making a decision and some of you guys are resisting change when it comes to leaving a damn work environment um for some of you all this could have to do with some of y'all are releasing the burdens having to do with an aries or taurus i definitely feel like in the past you could you this i'm feeling the energy of i gotta fight to prove my love to you it's like there's this energy of someone kind of like this back and forth, like this tug of war. Some of you guys are moving forward, possibly from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. For some of you all, this could have to do with the mother or father of your children. Some of y'all have to make a decision possibly between the mother, father, and the children, and possibly um, someone who you dealt with in the past. Okay, I definitely feel like these are two past energies for some of you all. 
some of you guys, you are resistant moving away from someone, even though you have, and this could be the other person with you, but even though there is, y'all, there's communication issues. I feel like someone, instead of taking accountability for their actions, they immediately pull the damn sword to point the finger at the other person. And for some, for, for some of you all, you're actually now seeing this as a form of manipulation and you just like, you know what? I'm not with the shits because I don't see us getting to any form of a, of, of a damn solution to our problems and how, how we're going to move. For some of you all, you could be dealing with someone, um, this could be a fire sign, or this could be an Aries, a Taurus, this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but for some of you all, you really need to go to sleep, okay? Because some of you all are reliving, reliving things from the past due to someone's damn finger pointing and the way that they communicate, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with... Um, some of y'all are reliving things that occurred from the past that you really didn't, that you really hadn't been able to heal from. This could also have to do with some type of father figure. This could be your father, child's father. And for some of you all, there could be secrets being revealed from the past, possibly regarding the Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. For some of you all, some of y'all are resisting letting someone go due to how much has been invested in a relationship, okay? But I definitely feel like there is some type of, like, movement forward that is occurring, okay? Or some type of expansion or movement forward for one person, okay, after walking away from another. And for some of you all, some of y'all, some of y'all could have cut off a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or has someone resisting moving forward in a relationship due to them being possibly tied to the mother or father of their children. But for some of y'all, this person is going to be dropping those damn burdens, okay? And now this person actually wants to come forward. And I feel like it's kind of putting you in your head because for some of you all, you're kind of unsure if this person is going to uh, move back, you know, move away from that person, all right? For some of you all, I have the emperor and the empress here, okay? So some of you guys... This could actually be you guys finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Congratulations. More for love to kids. All right. But for some of you all, you're finding out that you're pregnant after possibly moving away from someone. All right. Yeah. And this is going to cause a tower moment because for some of you all, this person could have been possibly starting something new elsewhere. And some of you guys are going to be leaving a job, but I feel like you don't need to worry about if you're going to be able to find another job here with this Queen of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you're going to financially be abundant. You're going to be okay, especially with this Three of Pentacles here as well. I do see progression forward and expanding forward. I do see it's going to be something that is going to be new to you, but I do see, again, movement forward here with this Three of Wands, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all could be communicating with fairies during this time. And for some of y'all, some of y'all dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I definitely feel like whomever this person is, some of y'all could be receiving some type of communication. That, and I don't feel like the communication is going to be nice. I feel like whomever is delivering this communication, if you could reach through the phone, you would slap the shit out of them. Nah, ha, ha. So y'all, I embrace them both. <laughs> but I definitely feel like for some of you all, this could be some cutting words that you're going to possibly be going to be receiving around someone um, or regarding someone who you love. Y'all, some of y'all could be finding out that somebody is pregnant. And I always see this shit coming up in y'all readings. Cancer dealing with Taurus. Y'all, y'all going to be finding out something mid-month, April, that is going to cause a tower moment. But it has to do with somebody resistant moving forward. And I feel like you've already had this knowing about what the hell you needed to do, but you didn't make a move. Okay, so I definitely feel like spirit is making a move for you. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a fire sign who just, who decided that they want to release their burdens, okay? Or that they're wanting to move forward. And this could cause some type of anxiety because of how much you feel that you... um invested in a relationship this person may uh, express to you that they want to keep their options open during this time some of y'all dealing with a water sign as well during this time uh, uh cancer pisces scorpio i do feel that there is so much love here especially if this person is a damn scorpio i feel that there is so much love here but what this person is not telling you is that they hold on to a damn family situation or some type of dynamic where there is kids in a structure um out of security for the for for, for the shmani Okay, so this could they could be dealing with an older woman, an older earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, or this person could also uh, be expecting a child as well. Some of y'all dealing with an earth sign um, that could be dealing with an air sign, and some of y'all dealing with a damn fire sign that could be dealing with an air sign or another fire sign, okay? 
and which is going to cause a tower moment, but it's well needed because Cancer has been putting out so much energy into everybody else and so much into situations that does not are not even worth their value or not even worth their energy, worth their time, worth their growth. And they, these are only catalytic situations that are assisting you to move forward towards your life path. Now, you can sit up and say, well, Mocha, you know, I understand, but I don't want, you know, at the, at, but at the end of the day, it is not happening to you, but it's happening for you. Because ultimately, this is going to catapult you into a place where you are abundant. You are <laughs> going to catapult you into the motherfucking empress, Cancer. New endeavors, new beginnings. I manifest what I like. And for some of y'all, you have people in your energy that has been blocking that. The abundance starts within you. Okay? So let me break this shit down for what I see so we can get it all right. All right? <clears throat> some of y'all have an air sign that is stopping you. Okay? And I, but I feel like this is someone that's younger. This person could be a bit childish. I definitely feel like for some of you guys, some of y'all could also be having altercations of physical words with your children during this time. Y'all would be having um arguments with your young adult children or your younger children okay uh for some of you all this air sign could be tied i feel like this is more of an outside source like this person is tied to either um an ex-spouse or tied to a spouse where you could have recently uh parted ways from okay or you could have guys could have recently got back together and this damn person coming with the yak but that's i definitely feel that this is the air energy okay so for some of you all if you're dealing with an air sign, because that's who look like they come with the most drama, air and earth. I'm going to start with them. Dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like there could be a lot of arguments during this time. <clears throat> and it could, this could have to do with someone watching or someone snooping, okay? Someone going through somebody else's shit, finding something. Instead of someone taking accountability for their actions, um, I definitely feel like someone, if you're dealing with an air sign, this person could have had two options. They didn't really know which direction that they wanted to go in, but they didn't know how to communicate that because I definitely feel like you're dealing with someone who could be a bit selfish. So I definitely feel like this person um, either could have put up a boundary with you or could have kind of said some very hurtful things to you uh, simply because you stood your ground, you set your boundaries, okay? And I definitely feel like behind the scenes, this person has really been in their head because they know that they're at the point where they kind of backed up into a while where they have to make a decision because they don't want to lose. And I definitely feel like they're trying to heal from a situation ultimately before, especially like some of y'all, this person really needs to heal from their past because they've taken their baggage into relationship, into relationship, into relationship. And the ultimate issue around their issues is communication and the fact that they're selfish period okay so for some of you all i definitely see you cut that in that, that situation out it must just like fuck it i'm dropping my, drop my burdens i'm tired of being in my head losing sleep not knowing which way to go on that situation i gotta move forward okay if you're dealing with the earth sign capricorn taurus virgo i do see some y'all could have children with this person okay but i do see a form of manipulation with this person i see that this person likes to have they cake and eat it too i definitely feel like some of y'all feel as if this person gives bare minimal to the relationship. For some of you all, you can make more money than this person. Or for some of y'all, you could also be starting a new relationship with this person. But I definitely feel like for some of y'all, they could be focused on their money, okay? And for some of y'all, they could be focused on an outside, par an outside party. Some of you guys who are dealing with earth sign could be possibly dealing with the mother or the father of their children who I feel that there was like a door closed in the past, but they left the windows open because this is a situation that wasn't closed out with no type of closure. And for some of y'all, this person is, is, is karma season, okay? And they're getting ready to have a tower moment around around some type of factor having to do with children, which could cause a damn uproar in communication with you and this person or with someone on the outside of your union and this person like a baby mother, like, well, a child's mother, a child's father, okay? during this time so i do see for some of you guys you could just choose to um isolate yourself move away from it just focus on your money and let them handle all of their shit and you know just come back to it when you, when they get their shit together um but i do see you just really just saying fuck it i'm not gonna be a part of that drama that's the, that's their shit okay for those of you who are dealing with water signs cancer pisces scorpio <clears throat> some of you guys could during this time, be receiving some type of um, clarity, some type of 
communication. Someone could be speaking some form of a truth, all right? And this truth, for some of you all, could be, you know, I want to move forward. I want to progress. I'm in love, all right? For some of you all. Some of y'all, this truth is going to be, there was Tanya and Keisha, Stacy, Alicia, Mickey, Inez, Latoya, Leticia, okay? And, you know, ultimately, I feel like this person, again, there has been this resistance to move forward um, with this water energy. I definitely feel like y'all, somebody want to live their best life, but at the same time, the bond that you guys have, they, they, they're in love with you. But for some of y'all, they got lust issues, okay? And I definitely feel like that could be the indecisiveness that you feel because some of y'all are very empathic, so you feel and you know that some shit's just off. Um, but for some of you all, with this water energy, some of y'all, there could be a tile moment coming to this look to this water energy that some of y'all, either you or this person, if you're a male, could be finding out <clears throat> that there's a child getting ready to, to come to this world. And that could cause a tile moment for someone to make them get their shit together and want to do right. Okay? Because I do see a, a lot of love here in a fire, I mean, in a, a water, water situation. Okay? For some of you all, we're dealing with fire. <laughs> You're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely see where there has been some form of like resistance, especially around communication and getting to the bottom of things, truth and clarity here. Okay. I do see fire signs uh, maybe moving forward. Either you and this fire sign wants to move forward because they see the situation as being burdensome. Okay. I do see that there has been a lot invest in the situation, but I definitely see that someone have Someone could have actually found out something or could have learned, like, gain clarity on something. And I, that, that, like, there's this energy of, I'll be back, okay, with fire. Some of y'all, you're like, hell no, I'm done, done, okay? But for some of you all, I feel the energy of, I'll be back. Like, someone's going to go tie up loose ends, okay? But there's an energy of, I'll be back. For some of you all... You've been resistant, moving forward, away from a fire sign, okay? I feel like, for some of you all, you every time this person has, like, some type of uproar in their damn life, you go running back, you know, and then you feel as if you're tied into a cycle all over again. And for some of you all, that has been keeping you resistant upon totally releasing it. But for some of you guys, you just like, fuck it. I'm dropping my damn burgers, okay? This could be you or this fire sign, all right? Um, but I definitely see you guys just progressing, moving forward, <clears throat> not really comfortably accepting the things that are coming towards you in love, even and even as well as spirituality and moving towards your life path. But I do see movement, okay? I see a lot of stalking, but Spirit is saying the best advice is to be courageous. If you're looking to reconcile with someone regarding some type of family situation or regarding some type of situation around children, especially if this person is a Leo, okay? I definitely see the reconciliation. For some of you all, there is a reconciliation around some form of a twin flame union here with this 1111 that this Libra full moon is going to be bringing out, okay? So you guys, let me know how this resonates. This is what I have for my Cancers in love for mid-April. I love you all so very much, and I will see you guys back here in May. Peace, blessings, namaste, babies. Mwah.